We have Michael and we have Heidi here with us, and we're going to be reading an L book today. All right, Michael and Heidi, I have a story that we're going to read today, okay? Looking at the title of our story, what's the title of our story going to be? Bald Eagles. Bald Eagles. Looking at the title, looking at the cover, what genre is this story going to be? Informational text. Informational text. Michael, why is it going to be informational text? Um, you think it's going to be giving a fact about bald eagles, okay. Do we know that yet? No, but looking at the cover, how does the cover tell you it's going to be informational text? What about the cover, Heidi, tells you it's going to be informational text? There's a bald eagle. Is that a drawing of a bald eagle? Is it a drawing? It's a picture. It's a picture, right? Pictures tell us it's going to be informational text. And informational text gives us what, Michael? Facts. facts. It gives us facts about things, okay? Now, before we start reading our story today, we are actually going to be doing something brand new. This is something we have never done before. We're going to fill out a KWL chart. Now, this is something you can use when you are doing informational text, when you're looking at stories that are going to give us facts, okay? So if you could write your name at the top of that for me. Okay, and now let's look up here at the topic. What's the topic of our story going to be? What's our story going to be about? Go ahead. Bald eagles. Bald eagles. So let's put our topic up there. Go ahead and write your topic. It's right there on the cover, so you should not misspell it, eagle, either. Okay, so our topic of our story is bald eagles. Now we need to look at our chart and we need to fill this out. Now a KWL chart is good for informational text stories. It's good for stories that we're going to learn facts about. Now the K up here, if you look, the K is what you already know. The K and N, or excuse me, the K and N is what the K stands for. So let's think, what are some things you already know about bald eagles? What's something that you already know? Heidi, what's something you already know? It looks like they're already bald. They look like they're bald on their head, right? So let's write that. They look bald. I'm getting that down there quickly. Michael, what's something else you already know about bald eagles? Um, they can fly. They can fly. Okay, that's perfect. They can fly. Okay, so they can fly. Can you both right now write down one more thing that you already know about bald eagles? What's something else that you already know? Go ahead, write it down. Heidi, what's something else that you know about bald eagles? Look at it, you know. They're a bird. Right. Okay, so what did what else did you know about them? They're, they're an eagle. They're a type of eagle. What did you say? They are a bird. Very good. So these are things that we already know, right? No one told us them. They're just things that we already know. So that's the K in our KWL chart. Now we need to go into the W. The W is what I want to know about bald eagles. What are some things that maybe interest you that you would like to know about a bald eagle? What's something you would like to know about them? Um, I want to know what they eat. Perfect. What do they eat? What are we going to put at the end of that? No, not a period. What are we going to put? Why? We're asking something, right? All right, Michael, what are you wondering about them? What's something that you would like to know about bald eagles? Um, they're where, where they live. I think that's a great question. I would love to know about that, too. So where, notice we're starting with question words, where? Do they 
live. Yep, absolutely. All right, guys, let's look. Okay, so do you guys have another question? What do they eat? Where do they live? What else? Wondering anything else? Are those our two main questions? I think those are two questions to go off of. Okay, so we have what we know. We have what we want to know. Now our L. Our L stands for what I've learned. Okay, as you're reading our story, the story is going to be giving us what? Facts. As you're reading the story, I want you to write facts in this column of things that you have learned. Now, would you write that it is an eagle? Would you write that? No, because it's something you already know. You need to write something that you've learned as you read it, okay? But before we start reading our story, I have a few words I want us to look at, okay? My first word up here, who can, either of you can read that for me? Go ahead, Michael. National, say that together, ready? National. If something's national, what does that mean? Go ahead. It's regular. Well, no, if it's national, it's talking about like the whole country. Like the national bird would be the bird of the United States, okay? Or the national flower, which would be the bird of the, or excuse me, the flower of the United States, okay? So it's national. It's talking about the whole country. Let's say the word one more time. National. Next word. Shelter. shelter. Let's say it together. Ready? Shelter. What shelter? Michael? Um, where something or someone lives. Where something or someone lives. It's protection, right, above us. But is the school considered shelter? Would we consider the school shelter? Yeah, but do we live there? No. No, it's just an environment or a place that protects us, right? Okay, so we're going to be looking at something national in our story, and we're going to be looking at shelter in our story. But as you're reading, what are you two going to be writing? Facts. Facts that you have learned, okay? New things. So you can kind of push your papers to the side, so as you're reading, you can go right back to your chart so you don't forget them, okay? And Ms. Weber is going to tap in to listen. Once you get to our red sign, that is going to tell us to stop, okay? So go ahead and start reading for me first, Michael. Uh, a big, strong bird flies high in the sky. It is a bald eagle. People like to watch this beautiful bird. The bald eagle is not really bald. It has white feathers on its tail and head. The feathers on the rest of its body are brown. Alright, have you learned anything new yet? The rest of its body, the rest of the feathers on its body are brown. Go ahead, you can write that. Alright, where are you at, hon? I just finished reading this Okay, speech. go ahead to the next page. Made to fly. A bald eagle weighs between 6 and 14 pounds. Oh my goodness gracious. What do you think about that? That would be kind of heavy. That would be kind of heavy? Is that something, did you know that before this story? No. So what do you think we could do with that? What I also already know mm -hmm. is that they have really strong grip. They, you, oh, you already know that. So that's something that you know. They have a strong grip. So let's first add what you've learned. So what did you learn? It weighs between 6 and 14 pounds. Go ahead and write that. That's perfect. And then you can add to what you already know that it has a strong, what did you say? A strong grip. Good. A bald eagle made to fly. A bald eagle between 6 and 14 pounds. A bald eagle's bones are hollow or empty inside. Hollow bones are 
like that is why birds can fly. Perfect, okay. So, so far in this page, have you learned anything new? Mm -hmm. Okay, what have you learned? That Bless you. Bald eagles were between 6 and 14. So where are you going to put that? Go ahead, go add it to your elf side. Good, you're doing great. A bald eagle's bones are hollow or empty inside. Hollow bones are light. That is why birds can fly. The bald eagle has long wings that help it fly to to fly high. Good job correcting. Going? Each wing can be seven or eight feet long. There is an exclamation mark there. So what are you going to do now? I'm going to write something. Okay, what are you going to write? What did you learn? Well, let me find it. Hollow bones are light. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and finish reading. The bald eagle has long wings that help it to fly high. Each wing can be seven or eight feet long. And I love how you read that, okay? So, here's what I'm going to have you do, okay? There's one, two, three, four, five, six pages until you get to your stop sign, okay? So the next thing I'm going to have you do, okay, at your next station, is I'm going to have you read to the red sign. I want you to, as you are reading, write down things that you have learned, okay? Look at your KWL chart. I want you to add to it as you go, okay? Do you guys have any questions about what you're going to do? Nope? All right, you did an awesome job. High five. Keep up the good work.